um, he's always fast there, and that's I think that's one of his favorite tracks, and I'm almost positive he'll be there. And then, I, you know, last year I believe we got a handful of um, the Oregon boys over, so I'm sure they'll be back and some of the Arizona guys as well. Well, so far, <clears throat> we've only confirmed two drivers that we know of for sure from Oregon going. That would be Colin Weinberger and Bryson James. Uh, multiple drivers are on the fence. Yay, nay, we're not quite sure. Um, we've heard that we can expect to see R.C. Whitwell. I mean, this is what we're talking about. The level of the competition from the Western United States is going to head to Bakersfield. And you won that deal on night number one last year and finished, I believe, second on night two to uh, Steve Drake, correct? Yeah, yeah, we had a great year <coughs> last year. And, um, you know, another one, Bobby Hogue, I'm sure he'll be there, and he's always extremely fast. You can, I think we can count on seeing Bobby Hogue because, if I'm not mistaken, he is the winningest driver in Bud National's history. And he, I think it's five times, isn't it? I think it's more than that, but he really, really, really likes Bakersfield. But, you know, with what we've seen with that 91 car the last couple of years at Bakersfield, I mean, we've got to count that car in the mix. You guys have – and you really like that track. Your program is on point, and you guys handle business. Yeah, Tim, Tim always brings a great car there for me to drive, and, um, you know, I, that track, my, my driving style seems to adapt to that track when, it, you know, it gets pretty dry and, um, <clears throat> and it goes dry slick, and that's kind of more, um, you know, more of my specialty is, of driving is on that dry slick, and just, you know, we adapt really well, and, you know, like I said, Tim brings a great car, and we seem to always do really well there and, and have a great time, as, you know, in the meantime. Well, it's interesting that you bring that up because <clears throat> uh, Bakersfield, a two-day show at the Bud Nationals, typically we'll see that track be really fast and hooked up and maybe even sometimes rough on night number one. And then night number two, we can expect to see the, the track conditions that, that you prefer as a driver. Super slick, um, where you got to be a wheel man, you got to be smooth on the throttle, you got to be smooth at the wheel. And last year... When you won, it was tip. It was uh, you know a little more on the heavy side, the faster type track, and then you know you made your way through the field on night number two to finish second on the dry slick and was reeling in Drake. Uh, <laughs> Bakersfield. Now I've been to a lot of tracks, Tony, and I've watched races all over, but Bakersfield is the one track that stands out in my mind. Where on a two-day show, I have never seen a racetrack change more than Bakersfield does from night one to night two. Yeah, I know you're correct. I mean, even on a one-night <coughs> show, it changes drastically. I mean, uh, we were just there a couple weeks ago, and it was extremely heavy in the heat race. And, I mean, it was just hammered down. And then in the main, it just went to um, – it, it went patchy. And, you know, it, normally it's, ha you know, it's, it's heavy in the heat race and dry and slick by the feature just because it's so hot there. It, it's – you know, I think they just – um, been laying a lot more water to it lately is what what I'm hearing <clears throat> in preparation to the event. But yeah, no, you're right on a two day show. You know, by the night two, it, it's it's um, it's slick and I, <laughs> slick is a taking taking rubber. Yeah, that's another statement. I mean, it get it's two different tracks on on those on that weekend. But um, <clears throat> you know, we've seen. I think last year we only had. 20 I'm going to say 26 or 28 late models on 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 the for the Bud Nationals but it was I mean it was 26 28 bad fast late models there's no junk at that show Yeah I know you're correct I mean the late model class is definitely slimmed down here you know on the west coast but the Bud Nationals brings all the dogs. It, it it really does I mean we, we can go to a tracks and you know we'll see late models where you have enough cars to make one show <clears throat> and then you show up at the Bud Nationals and you'll have an A and a B or an A and two Bs where any one of those races are a feature anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, no, you're correct. It, it definitely brings them out of the woodworks. And I think a lot of the guys kind of sit out the whole year and gear up just for this one event. Well, and it, then it's... You guys, then, you, then you have <clears> guys that race all year long gearing up for this event. Right, right. It's one of those things where all you guys as drivers put that on your schedule and say, hey, we're going to be there at this date. And it's not so much the big payday. I mean, it, it's two thousand dollars to win each night. It's it's more the prestige that comes with it to say, "Hey, I'm a Budweiser Nationals champion." Yeah, it's all about getting that <clears throat> electric guitar, that Budweiser electric guitar. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, what last year or the year before, Hogue walked out of there with four of them. 
Jesus. Yeah, he did. He, he got all the T modified wins and the T late model wins. He did. I mean, that's when we talk about, you know, just Bobby Hogue and the Bud Nationals and, and Bakersfield. I mean, it is, he just really likes that track. But, you know, last year it was a different story. I mean, <coughs> you showed up with a, with a, with a game plan that, that uh, worked. I mean, you were a top two car both nights, and, and Drake uh, walked out of there on night number number two as the winner. Uh, anytime you can do that to Bobby Hogue and, and get under him and, and kind of rattle his cage a little bit and, and finish ahead of him, I mean, I think you're doing something pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. He's definitely the, the king of Bakersfield. And, again, you know, Steve Drake, he ain't won the count out either. He's been extremely fast at that place as well. Well, he is the current track record holder there, and I believe it's just over 12.4 seconds, if yeah, I remember right. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's uh, he broke it, at, <laughs> but he actually broke it at Bud Nationals. I want to say it was last year or the year before, but, man, he was, I mean, it was just one of those laps where it was, you just know it was like, wow, that was fast. And you see the time, it was like, you know, they told me in the booth, well, that's a new track record. And so, oh, man. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, a 12-3, 12-4 at Bakersfield, that, that's getting around pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. For Yeah, definitely. So, Tony, this is Josh. Uh, it's going to be my first time uh, down there for the Bakersfield, for the Bud Nationals. It's going to be uh, definitely a pleasure uh, to shake your hand and, and actually get to meet you for the first time. I've done a ton a ton of research uh you know watching you over the years uh came down uh here a couple of years ago with a modified did the merced Antioch, and chachilla uh race um only got to do two of them we had a little bit of toter home issues and stuff but you, you kind of had like a little uh hiccup in your in your ah uh, when you heard about the uh qualifying time is that something that that you're kind of worried about or is that something that is just you know it's just one of those things no, no, it's just something that maybe one day when the track's pretty heavy, I'll try to shoot for it and try to beat it. <clears throat> well, and that's what it was. It was just prime. I mean, he got out there because uh, you don't want to be at, uh, and Bakersfield is real sensitive, Josh. You'll see this. You don't want to be out there too early because it's a little greasy. The, now the clay there is something else. It's something I've never seen. It, it, it's a black clay that just. I mean, when it goes dry, it looks yeah, like asphalt. Really very, very different type of clay than what you see here in the Northwest or really anywhere I've been. Very tricky service, but if you get there a little too early, it's extremely greasy. You get out too late, and it's just like there's nothing there to grab a hold of. So you got to be right there in that fine window, and Drake did it, and, and he burned up a lap that was just when I mean, it was fast. Yeah, and no, no, Steve's always extremely fast there, and, <clears> you know, I, I wouldn't doubt that that record will probably stick for a long time, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to shoot for it, though. Well, hopefully we can pull it off this year, and we can call you home to a, a, a new track record, and, you know, more importantly, a uh, you know, a win at, at the Bud Nationals. I mean, track records are one thing, but, you know, the Bud National Championship is a whole different deal. Yeah, no, I definitely want another guitar. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> uh, so let's talk Let's talk about your sponsors here in, in the 2016 season that, you know, have kind of supported you and, and got you where you are and, and uh, where you're going. Yeah, um, yeah, Pappage, you know, Jason Pappage, he's got a construction company, Pappage Construction. He helps out <clears> the program <throat> quite a bit. Uh, poor house, um, uh, there in Bakersfield, um, good friend of mine, Steve McGowan, he helps us out a lot. Cisco's Tires, he's um, been buying my tires and taking care of us on that program. And um, just, you know, a handful of other people, and we just try to put our program together. And hopefully, you know, this year, like I said, we've been working a lot and haven't been doing a whole lot of racing. And, um, you know, hopefully build up enough, big enough bank account, we can hit, our, hit, it, hard, hit it hard next year. So I got a, I got a question and stuff for you, is that uh, when we do come down there, we're gonna bring a bunch of Moxie uh, Moxie Media and promotion stickers, uh, <laughs> small and some big ones. Uh, just curious uh, if you happen to go to the porta potty and you come back and you see one on the side of your car, you're gonna be upset. <laughs> uh, not at all. No, shit, put them put them all put them on all the race cars, all our race cars. Um, I don't mind at all. That's that's awesome, Tony. Man, you're absolutely. One of, one of the top drivers uh, that we love to talk to, um, Corey definitely knows you a thousand percent more than I do. Uh, Wide screen over here, uh, Matthew Drager's crew chief is also in the house. Uh, we just want to thank you so so very much for taking out your time uh, here in a couple weeks, man. It's game on. Yeah, sounds good. You guys come come over to the trailer and um, grab a water or soda during the races, and then we'll have some cold beers after the races. You're darn right, we will, Tony. So basically, we're coming over there to grab some sweatshirts and some swag from you, right? Cold beers. <laughs> yeah, we, we, 
We have that too. Right over. <laughs> right on, Tony. We'll see you down there, man. I wish you the best of luck until we see you then. And uh, we'll talk to you at the Bud Nationals. Thanks for calling in. And uh, good luck, Bud. Hey, thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a good night. See you, buddy. You too. Bye-bye. One of the fun guys down Tony there to Toast. talk to. Um, you know if you go back on Spreaker Radio and listen to my interviews with uh, Tony at the Bud Nationals, he's one of those drivers that we try to get to every year. Does great interviews. Uh, you talk about a program that is, <clears throat> I mean, arguably second to none, especially in his area. Uh, his program is on point. I mean, Tim Douglas, uh, you know, he's the hired crew chief there, and that's what he does. He is the crew chief at Tony Toast Racing, and um, man, I'll tell you, he is a student of the race cars, a, a setup master, and we've seen uh, a lot of success to the 91T because of Tim Douglas. And, you know, Tony is a real talent behind the wheel, and you'll see that at the Bud Nationals. He's uh, he's just one of those guys that you don't sleep on. I mean, never count him out. And very, very fast program down there. Josh, you're going to you're gonna have a lot of fun down there at that deal. And, it's and I'll tell you, Tony is one of those guys that after the races – yeah, we'll be having some fun. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> I'm will. Telling you that right now. <laughs> so, yeah, the whole gr- that whole group down there. I mean, Tim Douglas's dad. You know, he drives the big the big semi, and it looks like a Cup team pulling in. And they've just got a really good program, and uh, they, you know, they'll they'll talk to you like they've known you for 25 years. I mean, that's just how they are. And it's it's always fun to hang out with those guys. All those guys down there, really. Dude, I'm I'm, I'm totally static of it. Uh, I know uh, I know Trisha's extremely. Uh, she if she's ready. I mean, she's ready to go right now. Well, you know, it's funny because I want to. We were talking about that. Uh, we were putting together the whole package with hotel rooms and plane tickets, and and Sandy had ta- had talked to your wife on the phone, and she hangs up and she looks at me kind of confused. And I said, it, you know, knowing that Trish is, you know, you got a new baby on the way. I said, what's the matter? I said, is, is everything all right? Is Trish okay? She goes, yeah, I don't, I don't think she really wants to I don't go. Think she wants to go. What that I said, was. I said, well, no, wait a second. I said, <laughs> what do you mean you don't think she wants to go? We're, we're buying plane tickets, and we're getting ready to rock and roll down here. And What do you mean? And she goes, she uh, was kind of short on the phone. She was real quiet. Like, uh, you know, she was just kind of like she wasn't interested. And I said, well, that's kind of strange. That's not the Trish that I know. You know, so <laughs> and, and now at the Iron Giant, I, I had a <laughs> I'm down. I'm down at Josh's, you know, uh, down by the motor home and little Aiden's playing out there and. And Trish comes out, and I said, hey, Trish, I said, uh, are you looking forward to the Bud Nationals? You know, it's kind of throwing it out there. She goes, oh, man. She goes, I can't wait to go. <laughs> she goes, I can't wait to go. I said, okay. I said, all right, just I want to make sure you're good with going. I mean, I know you're pregnant and flying and all that good stuff and being on the road and the heat down there. It's going to be hot. It is good. She goes, no, I'm totally I'm totally pumped. And I'm going, okay, well, just Sandy just thought maybe you weren't real interested in going or, you know, I just thought maybe that, you know, something was wrong. And she says, why don't you think that? <laughs> and I said, well, when you guys were talking, you were just kind of like real short on the phone. And, you know, and Trish, you can just talk to her. You know, no, just, absolutely. Just, yeah. I wasn't trying to start anything, but she says, oh, no. She goes, when she called, she goes, Aiden was asleep. She goes, and I was not going to wake him up. She goes, it was like the first time he'd slept in like three days. <laughs> you know, so she goes, I was not going to wake him up. And I said, oh, okay, well, got it all figured out. But, um, yeah, it's we're going to have a great time down there. Uh, it's going to be um, – Fun to have the whole crew between me and you and and Warren and Sandy and Trish and Mike Patterson and uh, we're gonna you know we're gonna work with the the local uh, the local Budweiser uh, representatives representatives down there with some stuff and the, and the track announcers uh, it's gonna be fun. Well, the cool thing is too is that we got some uh, like Corey was talking about earlier is we have some awesome awesome news. Can can we say a little bit of it? It starts with a – has four letters. Uh, No. God, man, no. I really want to do I it. I want two letters, Corey. I want to I, – I can't. No, because the, it would actually give it away. That would give it away. We we got we to gotta keep that under wraps until everything is confirmed and signed because that's that's kind of a big deal. Um, that that actually is uh, working out uh, um, very, very, very it, well for us. So far, so far. Now let's hope things continue on that path because if we do, it will be a big deal for us at the Bud Nationals. Um, and possibly other places. Other uh, places, yeah. Big shows. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, I don't want to throw it out there. And, and I think jinx Vegas is and Vegas is looking good, isn't it? And that's uh, uh, a month afterwards. Yeah, about that. I it mean, be, and know. there'll be a lot of Oregon guys going on the Vegas show. Uh, absolutely, I do. I do want to sit there and have a big shout out to Mike Swear and Swear Trucking. Uh, that, is, of course, is our uh, discussion 
sponsor right now is Absolutely. Mike Swear and Swear yeah. Trucking. Uh, been representing Swear Trucking for over 12 years. He's had the same clients for 12 years. You know, when Mike was here in, in the...